Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome back to the Ranger Zach Show. You know, when you're first getting started exploring the great outdoors, it can get a little uncomfortable, maybe even scary. And that's because sometimes trying new things can be challenging at first, and that's okay. When I first became a park ranger, I wasn't a very big fan of snakes. But after I spent some more time with them and learned about them, I learned to see them for the beautiful animals that they are. But if I'm being perfectly honest, it's arachnids now that just give me the creeps. Insects, okay by me, but those eight-legged creepy crawlers just give me the heebie-jeebies. And that's why I brought a good friend along with me today, Rachel from Doodlebugs Animal Adventures. Hi, Junior Rangers. Thanks for having me, Ranger Zach. Well, I thought it would be fun for you to overcome a little bit of your fear of creepy crawlies by meeting some real live creepy crawlies today. So how about we learn the difference between arachnids and insects? You ever want to know what makes a tree grow tall, a white turtle wears a shell on its back? To get your hiking boots and a walking stick, come along with Ranger Zack. Come along with Ranger Zack. It's the Ranger Zack Show. Okay, Junior Rangers, insects versus arachnids. Rachel, what do we have here? Alrighty, well this here is Bluey. Look at how cool Bluey is. Bluey is a blue death feigning Beetle. So we know that beetle is an insect, right? So how can you tell the difference between an arachnid versus an insect? Well, one of the easiest ways to tell is by looking at their body parts or their body segments. So if we look really closely at Bluey here, she has three body segments, a head, a thorax, and an abdomen. So if we look really carefully, you can actually see Bluey has a head right there, a thorax, and an abdomen on the back. How cool! Okay, so we just learned that insects have three body segments. But before we move on, Rachel, how did this beetle get its name? That's a really good question. Well, blue death feigning beetles get their name because of how they protect themselves against predators. What they do when they get scared is they actually play dead. It's something called thanatosis, but you may have heard of the term playing possum. Have you ever heard of an animal doing that? Well, basically they pretend to be dead so an animal doesn't see them and they want to eat them. Let's go ahead and try it together. You ready? All right, when I say boo, you pretend to be dead, but remember to do it safely in your seats. Ready? <gasps> boo! <laughs> Good job, go ahead and wake back up. So when these guys do that, most animals will want to eat them and they can hold that pose for up to two hours. That's a really long time. Wow, how cool. Boo! <laughs> All right, now let's check out an arachnid. Alrighty, are you ready, Ranger Zach? This here is Vinny, and Vinny is a vinegaroon or a whip scorpion. Now I can tell that this is an arachnid because I instantly have the heebie jeebies. <laughs> and that's okay too, but how do you know that this is an arachnid? Well, you just taught us that insects have three body segments, and I know that arachnids only have two, the cephalothorax and the abdomen. And on Vinny, I only count two body segments. You got it, yeah. So she has a cephalothorax right there and her abdomen on the back. Now, these guys are pretty cool. They're called really vinegaroons or whip scorpions kind of for the same reason. Because you see this little filament back here? Well, unlike a scorpion, they don't have a stinger. It's just this little filament, this flagella. But at the base of that, they have a special gland where they spray acetic acid. So kind of like a skunk sprays something stinky, these guys spray that acetic acid right there. So if an animal is coming up for a nice tasty meal, uh, instead 
they get sprayed right in the face. And it's really, really yucky. And it smells just like vinegar. So they get the name Vinegaroon and Whip Scorpion because of how they protect themselves. Now I have to ask, to help me get over my heebie-jeebies, can I hold Vinny? Of course you can. So go ahead and put your hand out flat. Now, Junior Rangers, we should never, ever, ever pick up wild animals, right? Only with the help of an adult or a ranger. All right, are you ready? I'm ready. How cool! Is it really that scary? Is it hurting you? No, it doesn't hurt at all. And now that I'm up close and personal, I actually see that Vinny is a beautiful arachnid. Just a little creepy. Ranger Zach for overcoming your fears a little bit there. Thank you. <laughs> now, are you ready to meet another animal friend? Yes. Alrighty, well this one you're going to be a little bit more comfortable with. This here is Sticky McTwig Face. Oh, this stuck to me. There we go. Now, I know you like sticks and I know you like insects, so I thought I would combine the two. This here is a walking stick or a stick bug. Well, no heebie-jeebies, so I know that this is an insect. Very good. But how can you tell that Sticky here is an insect versus an arachnid? Well, one way you can tell between an insect and an arachnid is to count the legs. And insects have six legs. Very good. So if we count, we can see that Sticky has one, two, three, four, five, six. Six legs. So Rachel, can you tell the Junior Rangers at home why this insect has decided to disguise himself as a stick? That's a really good question. And it all has to do with how they keep themselves safe. They don't want to get eaten by other animals. So instead, they use a really cool adaptation called camouflage. So when they look like a stick, they're blending in with their surroundings. So other animals won't see them and try and turn them into a tasty snack. Look at that, when you look really close, if she was standing on a stick, you wouldn't even be able to see her. How cool is that? Well, Rachel, it looks like this walking stick is waving goodbye. It kind of does. He's basically just swaying in the breeze, making sure we can't see him. Well, before we put him away, let's all do the walking stick wave goodbye together. Oh boy, heebie-jeebies, we have another arachnid. You got it, this here is Chili Bean and she's a Chilean rose-haired tarantula. Now we know she's an arachnid and not an insect because we can count her legs. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So insects have six legs and arachnids have eight legs. You got it. Well, Chili Bean is very cool looking, but also just a little bit creepy. Why is she covered in all that hair? That's a really good question. She's supposed to have those hairs. Those hairs are called urticating hairs and they're really important for tarantulas. They tell her what's going on around her, but those hairs are also used for protection. When she gets really scared, she actually uses her back legs and kicks them against the abdomen, that round part in the back. You remember that word? Abdomen. When she kicks those hairs, they fly off. They get in the eyes, the nose, the mouth of a predator, and they act like itching powder. So when she does that, that predator is gonna go, ugh, yuck, gross, trying to run away, giving her a chance to get away to safety. Okay, Ranger Zab, million dollar question. Do you want to hold her? Well, I don't want to hold her, but to show the Junior Rangers at home that tarantulas need to be admired and respected, I'm gonna give it a try. Awesome, I love that outlook. Now remember, Junior Rangers, we never want to pick up or handle wildlife. The best thing you can do is to enjoy it from a safe distance. 
Shelly Bean here is used to being handled by me, so we're gonna go ahead and let Ranger Zach hold her. But remember, never ever ever try and handle wildlife out of the wild. Look at that. She's just walking across you. She just thinks you're the ground. She's completely gentle, completely harmless. He's so brave. Looking at her up close, I really start to see the beauty in her. And my heart is racing just a little bit, but she's not as scary as I thought. Exactly. So if we learn about things that maybe scare us, give us the heebie-jeebies, we might just find the joy. Now, you may not want to go out and handle everything, but by learning about it, you realize it's not so scary after all. And every living thing, whether it's cute and cuddly or creepy crawly, they all deserve our kindness and respect. Are you ready for your Ranger Zach fun fact? Yeah! Well, here it is. This is called an oak apple, but you can't eat this apple. A more technical name for it would be an oak gall. Galls are formed when wasps lay their egg inside an oak tree and a tumor-like formation forms around it. But it's not a tumor. Okay, Junior Rangers, to see how closely you've been paying attention, let's play a game. Insect or arachnid. Alrighty, first up, we have Romeo and Juliet. What do you think, Junior Rangers? Insect or arachnid? So the way that you can tell is by looking at the number of body parts and the number of legs. So if we look at Romeo and Juliet here, they have how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six. And how many body parts? Kind of hard to tell, but I count one, two, three. You're right, it's an insect. This here is a Madagascar hissing cockroach. Exactly! Now they're called hissing cockroaches because they have a really weird way of protecting themselves. They have little holes on the side of their body and they push air out of those holes and it makes a hissing sound, just like a snake. Okay, Junior Rangers, here's the next one. Insect or arachnid? How can you tell? Let's count the legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now the body parts. One, two. Eight legs and two body parts means arachnid. Now this here is an ambly pygon, or a tailless whip spider. How cool are they? Creepy cool. <laughs> Okay, Junior Rangers, here's the last one. Insect? Or arachnid? Or, or neither. neither. Let's take what we know. Let's start with the body segments. Let's count the body segments. Um, I know, let's count the legs. Oh, good idea, okay. One, one two, two, three, four, five, five six, six, seven, eight, 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 Neither. Good job, Junior Rangers. This here is Maximus, and Maximus is a giant African millipede. They're in their own grouping called Diplopoda. Mm -hmm. 
Well, Junior Rangers, did you have fun playing insects? Or arachnid. Because we did. Let's give a big Rangers Act salute to Rachel from Doodlebug's Animal Adventures. Rachel, I want to thank you for helping me get a little bit more comfortable with some creepy crawlies that I can now call friends. My pleasure. Thanks for having me, Ranger Zach. And Junior Rangers, I hope you had fun meeting some of my animal friends, too. Let's head back to the Ranger Station and wrap things up. Bye. Hi, Junior Rangers. Welcome back to the Ranger Station. But wait, Pearl's missing. Has anybody seen her? What was that? There it is again. Did you see that? What the? Whoa. It looks like somebody decided to follow us back to the ranger station. What's your name? Tiny? Well, Tiny, nice to meet you. Are you giving Pearl the night off? Well, okay. Do you want to do the ranger roundup with us? Good. This week's question comes from Milo. Well, Milo, your question is perfect timing. Ladybugs, as you know, are insects, and they're bright red with black spots to warn predators that they're toxic and taste really yucky. Blech! The brighter colored a ladybug is, the more toxic they are, but not to humans. So have fun catching all the ladybugs that you can. Now let's do the Junior Ranger Challenge. This week's Junior Ranger Challenge is to get outside and observe one insect and one arachnid. No, Tiny, you don't count. The Junior Rangers have to find one in the wild. And when you do, tag me in a picture of your special adventure at the Ranger Zach Show on Instagram for a chance to be featured as one of our Junior Rangers of the Week. And if you enjoyed Tiny the Tarantula, make sure you give him a like and subscribe to our channel because new episodes of the Ranger Zach Show come out every Monday, and we hope to see you next week. If you want to learn more about Rachel from Doodlebugs, visit her website at doodlebugsanimaladventures.com, and I'll put a link in the description below. Until next time, Junior Rangers, there's a world of adventure right outside your door, so get out there and go explore. This is Ranger Zach and our new friend Tiny, over and out.